little introduction first. My name is Aaron, in case anybody even cares. So, I'm in college at the moment, in my first year doing software development. And, unfortunately, we have to learn Java. Well, I say unfortunately, but it's not a bad thing. Java is actually a really good language, but... I didn't want to use it, because I was used to a different language. But I suppose, in a way, it's better. I like that we're doing this. But anyway, more to the point. So, we have to do Java in college. Now, I had a good few people who were in the class kind of ask me for help because I'm so good well uh, not really so where was I yeah okay so I'm in college anyway and a couple of the people have had trouble with it and they've been asking me to help them and I've been helping them a little bit you know but I, I don't know how much to pick up from it so I finally decided to actually make videos of what we're doing in the class well to help anyone who who's in my class and actually need help so they can learn from it and then anybody who's actually genuinely interested in learning Java anyway they can also learn it so in my course we have these worksheets they're called J labs in our course and then we have to do all these by the end of the year there's say eight different worksheets and then there's whatever eight maybe eight questions on each sheet depending on which sheet it is so yeah I'm gonna work through these actually on the YouTube channel and hopefully people will learn from it so this first video is really just an introduction at like me trying to explain what we do in the college and then what you're going to need for to, to follow this these video tutorials I suppose so, yeah, I'm doing software development in college. Have to do Java, and here we go. This is the tutorial for what you need. So, first of all, for the people who are actually right, just this is for anybody who basically has nothing prepared for Java whatsoever, just coming straight fresh off the bat. So, the first thing you're going to need to download, your computer might have it. I'm not. Most computers probably will. But you need to download the latest Java JDK. This is the Java Developers Kit. So I have everything here nice and ready. This first link will bring you yeah, that one there. This will bring you to the download section of Java, which I have here. Okay. So that link brings you to this page. First of all, you're going to need to download this, the JDK Update 22. Take this one here, because both of these are included in this one. So, download the JDK, and install that. That will create a folder called Java in your program files. I'll remind you of this in a few minutes. So yeah, this makes um, a Java file in your programs. Download that. And then the second thing I want you to download is the Java SE6 documentation. Click this download zip button and it will download it for you in zip form. So that's the very first thing you're going to need. These downloads can take about five minutes. So get these first. They're important. The second thing you need to download is something called an IDE, which is an integrated developer's environment. Developing environment, I'm not too sure. But it's literally what you use to create the Java code and what you use to make it run, make it go. So the one I use in college and I recommend people use because it is a good IDE is one called JCreator. Now a lot of people have trouble with this so I'm going to quickly in this video run through how to install it and how to set up Java so that it runs on it. So here it is, JCreator Java IDE. All, ooh, whoops. There's my email for everyone now. Yeah, so J Creator Classics. Now you can get you can get this the newest one. Right, the LE version is free, so don't worry about that. Any cheap skates out there. The LE version is free, but I recommend to get three point five. Just because it's it's a nice version of it and it's stable. Like we had trouble in the course, we couldn't get the top one to work at the time. This this number five one here. But do what you want, you can get whichever one you want, but if you have problems, don't come crying to me. The best one, the most stable, is 3.5. So download that, I already have. And let's go to downloads. JCreator, it comes in a zip file, so we'll extract that here. Okay, and
then set up. So I'm going to quickly run through this. Next. Yes, I accept. Next. Yeah, put it there. Just. Yeah, it already exists. Okay, never mind. Go again. Create a desktop icon. No, I don't want one. Oh, shut up. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, it's going to ask me to overwrite everything. All oh, the joys of this video. Okay, so that's it. That's installed already. So you want to go ahead and launch the J Creator Lite edition. Now, this file associations, this is where you have to use the Java thing that you downloaded earlier. So for now, just finish. Don't bother with it. It will open up Java. So I, I know I'm kind of rushing a bit, but I think the maximum I can have on YouTube is something like 10 minutes. So I want to get through this really, really quickly. I don't know. I don't even know how long it's been running. Can I check? Hmm. No. Okay, never mind. So once you get this, go to configure, customize. No, ooh, wrong one, wrong one. Configure options, JDK profiles right here. And ooh, it already set one up for me. If there's one there, just delete it and click new. Okay. So what you're gonna do now is navigate to your Java folder. So it'll be in program files. So wherever your program files is, generally it's C uh, program files and Java. Okay. So set it to go to the JDK you downloaded, which should be this one, twenty one and click OK. We'll bring up this window here, this is just all the information you really don't need to know, this is just all the libraries and shit. The, don't worry about it for now. Documentation is next. The Java documents you downloaded earlier in a zip file. What you want to do is unzip them and you'll get a folder called docs. Now I recommend you rename that folder docs to Java docs. And then what you want to do is copy it and paste it into your Java folder in the program files. Then once you have that done, documentation, add, go to C, program files, la 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 la, right, Java, and Java docs. Okay, click on that and OK. Now that's added, just click OK and apply. OK. And that's it, your J Creator is now ready for Java code. So that's that already we'll start using this in the next video you'll learn more about it but for now close it down because I need you to download one more file did I show you the jcreator link sorry just in case I didn't there no I didn't there's the jcreator link if anybody wants to download jcreator but it's not that hard to google anyway and finally the last thing is the input.java file now I haven't really got much time to explain this I'll explain it more in the next video but with Java, it's if, if you have any knowledge of any other program languages, input into other languages is really simple because they all have input classes in them. But of course, for some reason that I can't explain, Java Java does have an input in it, but it's not easy. You have to it's kind of advanced stuff for just inputting a simple letter into Java. Now I don't know why really it's I've heard from my lecture that you know it's because Java wasn't made to be a teaching language it's just strictly a business language so like you're kind of expected to already know it but whatever so you need to download this and you'll see why again in the next video but as I said it's a tiny file just hang on to it put it somewhere safe <laughs> so there's the download it'll take you to mega upload and you can download the file and that's it. I'd like, I'd love to know how long this video has been running for, but so yeah, that's it. And for final preparation, I think it just looks nice. You should have a folder for all your ja oh shit for Java, just to keep everything nice and tidy in Java. Okay, what you want in the folder? Don't worry about this crap here, right? Have a Java folder. Have one for JLabs and one for reusable files. And in reusable files, put that input file that you just downloaded. Template, I'll deal with in the next. We'll create a template for just for all Java files that we can always start with. So that, that's the basics of this video. Again, 
It's just an introduction to let everyone know what's going on and what you need. Hopefully I didn't blast through it too quick. If anybody has any questions, you can ask me, you can send me an email, you can leave a comment under the video. Whatever you kids like to do these days. What am I saying? I'm only 18. Anyway. So that's it. Have all that done, hopefully. Just as I said, you don't have to create a folder, but it's a lot better. And I'll show you it's in the next video. You know, you really should have organization. Right, that's it. Until the next video, have fun.